hey guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see in the title and the thumbnail i'm gonna be doing a another crochet tutorial never mind winter's eye um i think she scratched herself but yeah um these are the products that i'm gonna be using rubber bands you guys know my favorite edge control i'm gonna need a comb clip scissors edge brush which i just got um and then these are her hair products i'm gonna be using this moisturizer talia waheed Nia organics curl smoothie beads which i honestly opted into not using and then this extreme styling gel um that i've seen this is the hair that i'm using it's by model model it is the glance braid um i got it in the color 1b winter is a two hope it works um and this is the jumbo kinky twist these are very very thick these match her um hair texture really really well um so yeah these should be easier to find than the other braids um that i used in the last video i know model model everywhere y'all so i'm just gonna be moisturizing winter's hair um winter has pretty dry hair um, i have to do the lock method on her hair quite often um so yeah i'm gonna be using a generous amount of moisturizer in her hair now y'all know i can't part so i'm gonna start parting her hair in sections um this is just to style it um you can put as many ponytails as you want there are 30 pieces in that pack so yeah it honestly took me five minutes to part it always does i actually timed it, it was five minutes and 41 sec seconds <laughs> so what this is the part that i wanted to be in detail with you guys because you guys wanted me to show you when i part her hair um I use the edge control to kind of slick it all together. I don't think that was shown in the last video. And then I'll use this edge brush. Now, a lot of people were saying that Winter's hair was tight, but it's really that edge control that makes it look that way. It is super, super, super slick, y'all. Like, it's better than some of the edge control that we use. So yeah, that is what I'm doing here. <laughs> I was asking her what happened to her eye and she didn't want me to touch it. So I'm going to be parting the front section just so you guys can see again. Um, this one's really, really, uh, really, really quick. I don't twist it that many times, as you guys can see. It depends on how loose the rubber band is, but I always kind of use my finger to, um, untighten it. So here, um, I was afraid that I was running out of parts because there's already like 20 something in her hair. So I'm actually just going to put a braid here. Um, I could have put two. This is my first time doing it this way, like with a bunch of ponytails, but I didn't. So I only put one little braid down the middle and then I'm going to connect it to that ponytail.
okay so this is pretty much the final product this is how her hair is looking these are all the ponytails and then that's the braid I'm going to be using this curl smoothie all around the hair. This is the part you guys wanted me to slow down on. In the beginning, I used another method. That didn't go well. I used about three methods before this one actually started working. So I twisted the ends and I used the extreme, that extreme gel and I twisted them in small little twists. And then to crochet, you're going to have to unlatch it. There's a lot of tutorials on this, but I tried to go as close as possible to show you guys. Um, I'm going to twist the hair underneath before I even latch it. Notice I haven't latched it yet. I'm twisting Winter's hair underneath. Um, I'm sorry, I just woke up. <laughs> twisting her hair underneath the um, crochet hair just to hide it. If you guys have ever seen like um, crochet... Um, what do you call those things? Why do I have a brain fart? Faux locks. They hide it underneath their hair. Yeah, that's pretty much what this is. Then I'm going to hook it and then I'm just going to pull it. I'm going to show you guys a couple times too, um, just in case it's complicated because this, I mean, this kind of is. So sometimes if it wants to snatch out, then I'll just pull it through. It doesn't hurt anyone. And then I'll take her hair and then I'll go under. Go under, y'all. Go under first the hair and then just pull it through. Twist it through. So at the top, um, if you guys see my first video with this, I wanted to try to make it like super seamless, but Winter's hair has grown, grown so much. Um, that pretty much only worked on the side and that barely worked there. Um, the Bantu knots were kind of too big, so I opted out of doing the Bantu knots, um, which you'll see I actually ended up taking them out. I don't know what this girl doing. <laughs> So now I'm just going to do winter's edges. And this is the finished product. Yeah, this is my first time doing it this way, y'all. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. It's cute in the ponytail. It's really cute in the front, too. And this is it. A lot of people complimented us when we were in the mall. So, it's super cute. I ended up doing a ponytail at the top um, with a rubber band. Um, I just put the rubber band on once. And then I put a bow on it. And, yeah, she loves it that way. So yeah, that is it, you guys, for this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I do have more crochet tutorials for you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, again, remember, work with products that work for your child. I know y'all see winter's hair. 
Um, so yeah, that's it. I love y'all. Bye.